Hi, this is Sandy with SDS Digital and the Accord C Corolla. Today I'll show you a new feature for version 2.1, Jump to Kill Last. With normal jump to around the playlist, blocks on each track are armed, but won't play until they're finished their present position. With the new Kill Last mode, whatever is playing is killed in favor of the new row. This means a whole row can play immediately without worrying about the length of blocks playing. The only delay is a bar alignment. So the kill last option can be found under the jump to quick box. Selecting yes will enable it, but first let's try the normal jump to. For a real time demo while the playlist is in view, I've recruited CC5 jack input to remote control jump to groups. The left Ritem knob is patched into CC5 to select the groups. In the playlist, there's four groups, only a single row high, with layers and tracks as a varied length to show the difference. Get them all in the picture. Hit play. The Layer 1 Sequencer 1 has a size of 8, while Tracks 1A is only 2 bars, and Tracks 2A is 8 bars. So I'll switch groups to demonstrate normal operation of Jump 2 before this update. Tracks 1A will be the first to start playing Group 2. It also depends on when the change is made, as the 8-bar blocks could be about to end anyway. Layer 1 Sequence 2 is also 8 bars long, so Tracks 1, which is drums, goes back right away, but the Layer and Tracks 2, which is 4-bar bass line, take more time. It didn't sound right until Layer 1 returned. Now let's turn on the new Jump 2 feature. Being remote controllable, Jump 2 can also be controlled via MIDI CC or even MIDI notes on the set remote control channel. I find the latter a really good method to control loops in the playlist, which is great for jamming. Okay, back to the playlist so we can see the way this new mode acts. As you can see, they all jump immediately, killing the last block playing on each track in lieu of the newly armed one. The max time this will take is one bar, so it's pretty easy to time it right. As you can see, Layer 1 Sequence 4 is quite a bit longer as it has several shorter steps in it. By the way, Layer 1 is a single hand-played piano recording, 8 bars long, quantized to quarter time, but modified in a different way each step and on alternate channels. If the Jump 2 is re-triggered, i.e. by moving the pot in this case, the group arms to restart on the next bar. This edition will be included in update version 2.1. The link will be below. Thanks for watching.